Okay, so over the past hour, changes have been made to the Bungie.net website to coincide with Destiny 2 Shadow Keep, and we learn actually plenty more about this DLC coming October 1st. Uh, we see what I believe is the Garden of Salvation raid armor looking absolutely incredible in its clash. We see some amazing looking weapons, we see an amazing ornament for the two tailed fox, and many other things. All we will check out today, guys. How's it going? My name is DP Jen. I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy Enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and if you're new around to and enjoy daily destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe okay so if you go to bungie.net which i will link within the video description you will be welcomed by this page right here here we see pre-order and receive the two-tailed fox exotic uh, with an exclusive ornament if we click on learn more we can see when it loads up We'll be welcomed by the trailer, which we've seen all over the place. So you kind of miss that. But then we'll see this pre-order and get the twin-tailed fox and the exclusive chasing kitsune ornaments. Now, if we click on this, let's see if we can actually make this a little bigger so we can actually see what this is all about. There we go. Looking pretty cool. Two foxes on the front of it. I actually like that. I think that's a great design. Not too keen on the weapon, though. Not going to lie. I haven't used it since more or less me getting it about a couple of months back. But hey-ho. So if we scroll down now we see Eris Morn returns. As the heroes of the last safe city turn their attention to the far reaching frontiers of our galaxy, new nightmares have emerged from an ancient evil that once slumbered beneath the lunar surface. Pretty cool. Awakened by our curiosity of Eris Morn, the evil poses a sinister threat far beyond her understanding. Again, that will take you to another trailer which you've already seen numerous times. If you haven't guys, you'll see all this linked within the video description if you do want to check it out. Okay, so if you scroll down here, conquer your fears, return to the moon, journey deep into a mysterious hive keep, work with Eris to slay the nightmares before they cast humanity into an age of darkness for good. Again, a video here which we've no doubt already seen already. So if you scroll down here, we see three amazing locking guardians in what I believe is related to the moon armor. Um, no doubt about it, but it looks pretty epic. Weapons too, I believe, are related to the moon. Uh, and we see the, well, it's a power level there of 960. And if we scroll down a little more, power, rise to new heights, fight, earn, and infuse to reach the new power cap of 960. Level up your seasonal artifact and exceed the power limit of your weapons and armor to overcome impossible challenges. And that, if you don't know, once you get to a level cap of 960, you can actually still level up by earning XP via the artifact. So that's pretty cool too. So you can go past 960, I do believe. Now if we scroll down, we see it says introducing finishers available to all Destiny 2 players. And you see that spinning kick there by the Titan looking absolutely epic. So if we scroll down a little more, we see class themed blast arcane energy as a warlock, flourish your knives as a hunter and strike with the greatest Titan weapon of all your fist. Close quarters combat, rush a weakened enemy to activate a devastating final blow. Risk and reward. Equip finisher mods that use super energy to customize its effects, such as self healing or spawning heavy ammo for your fire team. Pretty cool. And if we scroll down a little further, we see armor customization available to all Destiny 2 players. And what we see here uh, on your left hand side of your screen is the new Hunter Exotic Helmet called the Assassin's Cowl. I'm not sure there's anything else here. I'll have a quick look. I mean, everything here looks like. Uh, things we've already seen before, but I can't be certain on that. But anyway, your guard in your style. Equip the armor you want to customize your perks with the revamped mod system. Thousands of builds. All armor drops now come with thousands of potential stack combinations and mod choices to explore. Universal ornaments. Legendary ornaments can now be applied to any piece of legendary armor you're wearing and swapped on the fly. Now this is seriously interesting because I only thought it was Eververse ornaments you could wear on new Eververse gear. But I don't say this. Universal ornaments, legendary ornaments can now be applied to any piece of legendary armor you're wearing and swapped on the fly. Now unless I've missed something, that suggests to me that we can look I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to wait for more information on that. Unless I've missed something, which everybody else knows about, you can just fill me in down below in that comment section. And then we see a whole new host of uh, mods right here. Now, these ones here, these um, four down on your right hand side, because I'm not sure you can actually see my mouse pointer. These are finisher mods. We've got specific ammo finder mods here. We've got what I believe could be. No, they ain't actually here. I was going to say red mods, but they ain't actually here. But yeah, there's plenty of mods here, people. And then we see this right here. 
hunt for all new gear, discover unique weapons and armor in ways both new and old, construct weapons out of nightmare essence with Eris Morn, gather Vex theme gear through the season pass, and collect exciting new exotics from quests and enemy drops. So I'm guessing they're referring to, and we know this one here, this hand cannon, uh, fourth image in is an exotic, I believe. That's the they refer it to as like a hand cannon sniper. The one underneath that is the void uh, rocket launcher we see, which looks like a galahorn. Well, not looks like a galahorn, but it shoots uh, like a galahorn. It shoots like a noble bomb. It hits its target and splits into like mini noble bombs that track, just like a galahorn with its wolf pack rounds. But they may have a few other weapons here. Let me see if I can actually uh, view this background image, and we can. So we can see. That actually looks like a reskinned uh, No Time to Explain. There's a few actually weapons here which look very interesting indeed. I'm not sure if these are all exotics though. I, ain't sure. I know the Hunter Helmet here is an exotic, but the others I'm not certain about. I definitely know this hand cannon is an exotic. Here's a hand cannon that Victor's working on. It fires special ammo and it's a little bit like a, a one-handed sniper. Like it's actually our only hand cannon with a scope on it. Right now, it kind of lights you on fire if you keep firing it too much. We'll see. Some people like it, some people are kind of... I'm pretty sure that rocket launcher is too, because that just looks ridiculous. So that's pretty cool. So, Nightmare Essence with Eris Morn. We have to construct weapons out of this stuff. That's pretty cool too. We know there's a new Nightmare mode. So I'm guessing if you defeat things like this, uh, defeat enemies in this, you may get this Nightmare Essence, which you then take to every small and you get to build weapons. That'd be absolutely amazing. So that's pretty cool. Gather Vex theme gear 2 through the season pass. Pretty epic. Then we see the raid, the new raid, the Garden of Salvation. And there's nothing interesting I can really see here. I know we see the uh, Prometheus lens there. That could be the cold heart here. We see a bow, which I do think is a new raid exotic, which we'll get to in a second. Uh, but nothing else special there, I believe. Garden of Salvation, a signal emerges from the dark and reaches beyond dimensions. Into the uncharted worlds of the Black Garden, where it leads inside the garden remains a mystery, one that whispers with temptation, yearning to be solved. Pretty cool. And then people who scroll down to what I believe is Raid Armor. This has got to be Raid Armor. Now if we showcase, because I actually made a video earlier uh, talking about uh, armor I picked out of the latest trailer. It looked identical to this and I compared that to an image we saw on a Vidak about a month and a half ago, which I'll put on screen now. This image showcases armor, I believe, is what they were working on way back when within this Vidak. I mean, the armor looks almost identical. Uh, besides the hunter helmet, but the titan, the point on its head, the things on its back, the warlock, two points on its head too. They look identical, so I definitely do think this is the Garden of Salvation raid armor. And look at that bow that warlock is holding. I mean, what is that thing? It looks sort of like a hive bow. I wouldn't say that's Vex, I'd say it's definitely constructed of hive bones, but it looks absolutely amazing, it really does. And then it says Season 8, Season of the Undying. Season of the Undying is included with your purchase of Destiny 2 Shadow Keep. Defend our moon from the Vex invasion and face the Undying Mind. In Season of the Undying, you will experience a new activity, discover new exotics, collect exclusive universal ornaments, and grow more powerful. So that's pretty cool. Collect exclusive universal ornaments. That's seriously interesting. It really is. And I wonder if that refers to what we read not too long ago about uh, legendaries and ornaments that can be applied across the board and on the fly. That's pretty cool. So we will see them pre-order now and you will get, well, what it says on the screen now. You'll get the Hearing Whisperer's Exotic Emote, every small Exotic Ghost Shell, looks pretty epic, and uh, Benighted Omen Emblem, which looks pretty cool two people but yes so quite a few things to um talk about within that comment section for damn sure uh, let me know your thoughts on this down below within that comment section i do like the look of that two-tailed fox ornament pre-order and get the twin-tailed fox and the exclusive chasing kitsune ornament well now why is it called twin-tailed i'm sure this exotic was called the two-tailed but it's definitely referred to as the two-tailed fox in game so I'm not sure what that is all about, unless the twin-tailed fox could be the ornament, but then again, get the exclusive chase in Kitsune ornament. I ain't got a clue about that, but we will find out sooner or later, people. But yes, guys, just another video covering the latest information on the game. Look at that raid armor. Looks absolutely incredible. But on that note, we have come to the end. Let me know what your thoughts on this down below in that comment section, people. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.